So this Warcraft 3 map Tower Survivors is super fun. And what's cool about it is it tracks your stats. I started out really bad at the game, but recently I've been winning a lot. Like I've been getting to top four, I think it is, for you to get a win pretty much every round as far as I can remember. And recently I started to actually win the game, which is you outlast everyone in the game. And one of our opponents in this lobby is pretty sweaty. He's got a 69 win rate with quite a few last stand victories under his belt. Okay, so we have potentially an interesting start here with Coin and Wisp. And what if we go spikes and no weapon? Then we just go like masonry, just in case we have lost for stone next. I'd be so down to go for a spikes build. We already have the regen and we have one level of spikes. The problem with a build like this is we're not going to be getting money until these units start killing themselves, which may or may not start happening here. Gold mine and coin is amazing. Well, the question is do we have the survivability to withstand this level of punishment? I feel like we almost need to go for like Magic Claw. We're not going to have enough regen. I'd like to get maybe more spikes though. Can we survive this? I don't think so. I would have to clear maybe. I think clearing is going to be... Oh, I kind of just want to survive and then see if we get spikes, like a huge spikes. Masonry is not the way. This does damage based on our spikes. But I don't even know how good that it really is. Magic Claw I guess. We don't have enough gold for it. Oh, I should have got Moonglaive there. That does bounce damage. I think the thing we just got does bounce damage though too. I was just thinking bounce damage because it feels like bounce damage is really good in this situation where we're all clumped up. Moonglaive has less range though. Unfortunately, we couldn't get Moonglaive. Go spikes again. Holy Bolt's really nice. Let's go for the coin too. Do we even need Holy Bolt though right now? Feels like we're doing okay. Let me know if we need Masonry as well. Is that something that you just always get no matter what? Like, I don't want to get it here because we need more income. And more spikes, we'll take that. And then just sit on our money, I guess. More spikes is increasing the damage of one of our weapons, the Thorn. It's doing 294 DPS right now. DPS actually just went up. And here we go, we got gold mine coin. Let's definitely get that stuff. I think just either reroll here. Which was what I probably should have done. Or just wait. I was too slow in the reroll, so. Yeah, we're just gonna wait. Gold mine. Renew again. I just did a renew build. You want renew or magic seeds? What's better? Can we get both? I feel like both would be good for a spikes build. I think we can get both. Yeah, we can. Our regen right now is pretty nuts. We have 154 regen. And I think we have Wisp, right? I think we started with Wisp, and then we got, just got that upgrade. Coin will take that. More spikes, yeah. Masonry could be good, but I feel like we need income. We're doing okay on HP, on damage, and all that good stuff. I feel like either reroll here. Have we not rerolled yet, by the way? I mean, it's kind of good that we haven't rerolled because the cost was only 100. At the same time, you know, we're losing efficiency and potential big gains. Another Wisp for more regen. And uh, reroll. Another Wisp. Spikes. Sharpened Spikes. Yo, this is actually a nutty build. If we can get that and plated masonry, that'd be sick. More armor is obviously good. The build where you do more damage when the enemy is attacking your tower. We're all in on this. Um, this is a really cool build. I don't know if it's gonna, you know, pan out. I might make it into a video regardless. We got more spikes. Bounty hunter probably should have gone for that first. Definitely need more income. 
our income doing overall? We have plus 50% bounty, and we did get some gold mines. We have three gold mines going, which is pretty good. As for the rest of the stuff, I'm not really thinking it's going to be too necessary. So just go for masonry, because I feel like we're going to have a good amount of gold income. Be able to, uh, well, we got a lot of stuff going on here. More spike damage, we'll take that repair crew. Could go philo stone here as well. And then just reroll fast. Another philo stone. Oh, we got gems of power, which is going to make our coin be worth four coins. Jeez, that's a lot of income. Philo stone and then poison bomb maybe. Or like a bouncing attack thing. Just for some extra damage. It's not any synergy with the build, but that's completely fine. We could even go poison bomb as well. It's siege damage. I think I got it. No, I didn't get it. I clicked it though. If we get a replay on that, we would see that I clicked it. Let's just reroll. A couple coins. Oh, and I didn't get gems of power coin. I'm so sorry, you guys. That is so cringe that I didn't... Oh, man. People are just gonna be so mad at me in the comments. And I completely understand. Let's get this thing, I think. Oh, I cannot believe I didn't... I feel like I should just get it, but... Oh, there was a coin here, too. There's no guarantee that there was gonna be a coin anytime soon, but it's like... More spike damage. Another thorn that deals damage based on our spike damage. Oh, I'm tilted off of that play earlier, man. Because it's such an easy game, and like, there's nothing to micro here, you know? Our lightning generators, we got two of those. Dealing chain lightning damage. And just owning. Yeah, it's not, you know, a thorns thing, but... Oh, here we go. Cursed treasure. And then just get a bunch of crap. We're just gonna start going ham here. Reroll, because we just got so much money from Cursed Treasure. And then Knives seals damage based on our spike damage. Repair crew. Reroll again. And note to self, do not spam. Chill on the spam. Get some more damage. We need more damage right now. Our regen got cut by quite a bit for going for a uh, Cursed Crew. Can we get this, by the way? Eh. Could have maybe got it. Would have been close. Coin. And then Wind Spear maybe would be good. This damage based on our max health. I think we need an epic weapon. I don't know how good this is. It seems like, you know, lowered movement speed is not as good as just AoEing, killing everything. But it's a 10k gold weapon and we can afford it. I'll go Philos on here too, don't worry. We're just waiting till the very last moment. Another Philo stone. Hmm. Goblin landmines. So we got two 10k gold weapons. I'm the last two again, what the heck? What's going on here? Gotta go all damage increase. And then tax lower movement speed. Go Philo Stone again, because our HP is trash anyways right now. We're gonna have to clear, yeah, we have to clear. We're gonna lose here in a second if we don't get really lucky, but we're up to 10k gold again. The problem is, oh, another regen. What's our regen? I'm really curious to see actually. 598. Rapid fire, sure. Feels like we have enough weapons right now to make rapid fire worth it. Let's go for this thing for some CC. It will stun targets in a line. I'm down for that. Part of me feels like this runs really trash, but part of me feels like it has potential. We have so much income, I think is the main thing. Bounty hunter, deflection for more spike damage. We need to get tank here, evasion. And then we can't reroll, unfortunately. And then I don't think spike damage actually kills these gold wagons. And we have to kill them with a weapon of some sort. So I don't know if... Well, we actually are killing them. Fan of Knives does spike damage to everything nearby. We're actually getting a pretty good amount of gold. I really don't know how the gold wagons work. If anyone can explain in the comments. More regen. Thorn deals damage based on our spike damage. This could be good too. Just to give us more max health over time. And then a reroll maybe? Yeah, reroll. Gold mine, regen. I'm sorry, I just have to go for this stuff fast because I have to look at our HP. Well, I guess I don't. Let's go for evasion. We're incoming damage by 10%, or evades 10% of attacks. And I won. Wow. Reroll here? Or no. It's too late to reroll. Let's see. Anything that's gonna help us? Blight aura wood. Blight aura. So much regen, we have to get it. We have so much regen, like, can it even be hurt right now? 
Yeah, we can, definitely. Thorn. I see our health spiking. We're just gonna all of a sudden lose all of our HP in one go round. Oh, dude, the HP though. This is nuts. I've never had to build this sick. Wait, Stormhammer. I could reroll, but it's 700 gold now. Stormhammer is pretty good. This thing does splash damage as well. This is my craziest run, just in terms of like the meme potential. Gold mine, poison bomb, I would say is the way. Our splash is really good. It's just so much AoE. I feel like we're kind of lacking on AoE. We need more sustain though and like survivability. Because it's a Thorns build. Like that was the goal. Let's go poison bomb though, just so we can kill these treasure chest things. And um that will help our income. I think the way these things work is if you don't kill them in time, then you don't get the gold. But I can't really look to see. Like I have to just oh more another wisp. Cursed treasure might be the way. And just spam weapons and stuff. I feel like our regen is so good right now that Cursed Treasure isn't even going to dent it. Let's get some more HP. Another one of these things. Gain 10 armor is really good. We need that bad. And apparently Inferno Stone sucks. So I don't even know if we want to try to go for that. We probably won't have enough money for it though. I would say just go for some CC. Reduce the attack damage done. Okay, let's get some whatever that was. Damage mitigation. Gold income. Piercing damage all increase. We don't care about that. Fires off missiles, yes. We need AoE, big time. We need survivability though, if we get tanky. We need like a 10k gold to tanky upgrade. We're at 11 minutes, this is kinda nuts. What's our HP regen at? We can check at the end of the game, I won't check yet. It'll be like a nice little surprise for anyone that sat through this whole video. I feel like it's nuts though, cause we're regening back at the full instantly almost. Spikes, the epic spike one, no! We did not just get the epic spikes, dude. Dude, it needs to give you an epic every time, you guys, I'm telling you. Because, yeah, that would increase people's- Okay, wait, just focus, just focus, just chill. I'll go over my point at the end. I want this thing, I think. Yep, got it. Holy crap. Blizzard's gonna be falling. It's gonna be slowing things, I think. I think that's what Blizzard does. I get the meter pull as well, nah. And do this with frost, deal less damage. Yeah, we want damage mitigation. We want knives as well for that spike synergy, improved all attacks, yes. Plus the rockets for some CC. I feel like that would be good. Could have also rerolled, but we're killing more of these whatchamacallits, the wagons. Just wait. What do we got here? Bounty Hunter? I mean, it's kind of late for Bounty Hunter. I feel like we're doing okay, though. And that's going to increase our, you know, late game potential if we can survive till, you know, 15 or whatever. Weapons with Splash deal increased damage. I feel like that might not be bad. Our health is kind of spiking, though. Let's reroll into some tankiness. Now we lose, I think. Masonry. Reroll again. Health. Oh, I tried at the end there, you guys, but I feel like there wasn't much I could do. So I regen it. Oh, I can't tell. No, I thought you were able to tell at the very end. To calculate the regen, if we look at the very end, Blight Aura is dealing 44 damage, and that should be around 30% of our health regen. If we ask an AI bot to do the math for us, we have around 1600 health regen. And I say around because we might have had some poison damage modifiers, although I don't remember specifically picking up any. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments.